the track for DeCoin's seventh race. Win, place, show, exacta trifecta wagering. Three-year-old Illinois bred fillies in this overnight test. Again, county fair earnings preferred in determining eligibility to start. No changes. Number one, Jessica H. Owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky. Trained by Roy Finn, Andy Miller in the bike. Two, Mac Delight. Owned by Carolyn Harris of Springfield. The trainer driver is Rick Schrock. Number three, Semi Finer, owned by Ray Martin of Fairfield, trained and driven by Ray Gash. Number four, Mystical Smile, owned by Carl Becker's Fair Meadow Farm of Altamont, trained by Tony Bell of Windsor, the driver, Mickey Morgan. Number five, Incredible Wish, owned by James J. Ingram of Davenport, Iowa, trained by Fairfield's Tex Motes, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number six, Susie Bell, is owned by Bobby Weatherford of Litchfield, trained and driven by Greenville's David Martin. Number seven, Fox Valley Bobble, is owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield and Barney Lowe of Grand Junction, Colorado, trained by Tom Simmons, the driver Dave McGee. On the monitors, you just saw the number eight BP Swinger, owned by David and Beth Mulvey of Newton, trained by Randall Finn, the driver John David Finn. On the monitors now, number seven, Fox Valley Bobble. Up next in the post parade, the nine Sunny and Cheer, owned by Jim and D. Ella Scott of Mount Vernon, trained by Phil Cotton of Fairfield, the driver Michael Osting. Number 10, Incredible Natalie. Owned by Larry, Mark, and Peggy Walker of Carrollton. Trained by Mark Walker, the driver, Sam Witcher. Post time in four minutes. They're off and pacing. Incredible Wish grabs the racetrack. Semi Finer is there. Jessica H down toward the inside. There goes Fox Valley Bobble firing out from the center of the pack, moving up past several horses into the fourth position. Mac Delight goes fifth. Mystical Smile gets away in sixth. Susie Bell is racing seventh. BP Swinger is eighth around the first turn. Sunny and Cheer is ninth on the outside, a dozen lengths off the early leader. Incredible Natalie is last. And there goes Jessica H moving up for the lead at the quarter by a length and a half. Semi Finer second. Here comes Incredible Wish to the outside third. Opening quarter, 28 and 4. Incredible Wish is driving toward the top to challenge Jessica H. Semi Finer goes third. Fox Valley Bobble to the outside from fourth. Gap of two to Mac D. Light. Then Mystical Smile, who's six lengths off the lead against the rail. Gap of three more to Susie Bell, who travels in the seventh position. Then Sunny and Cheer on the outside is racing in eighth. BP Swinger is ninth. Incredible Natalie is tenth. And at the half, Fox Valley Bobble gets the lead. The half in 57 seconds. Fox Valley Bobble on top by a length and a half. Here comes Mystical Smile up on the outside to challenge Incredible Wish for the second spot. Jessica H is racing in fourth around the turn. Two more lengths back to Semi Finer, flanked by Mac Delight. And then as they move toward the three quarters, Susie Bell inside of Sunny and Cheer. At the three quarters, Fox Valley Bobble leads it by two. Incredible Wish is second a length. Mystical Smile is parked in third, keeping Jessica H pinned down toward the rail. Three quarters and 125 and one. Off the turn, the odds on favorite, Fox Valley Bobble, opens up by five. Incredible Wish is second. Jessica H to the outside third. Mystical Smile tires and drops back. Into the final eighth mile, Fox Valley Bobble leads it by four lengths. Jessica H second. Incredible Wish third, and then Sunny and Cheer is fourth up on the outside. Coming to the line, no catching. Fox Valley Bobble, Jessica H is second best. Fox Valley Bobble wins it by three. Jessica H was home second, and Sunny and Cheer got third. Mystical Smile came back for fourth in 153 and two. Circle for the seventh race, the unofficial winner, number seven, Fox Valley Bobble. Dave McGee with the winning drive. This three-year-old Sportsmaster filly owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield and Barney Lowe of Grand Junction, Colorado, trained by Fox Valley Standard Breads, trained by Tom Simmons to a seventh win on the season and a new lifetime record. It is official, 719 official. We're going to talk real quickly with our winning co-owner, Barney Lowe of Grand Junction, Colorado. Barney, you're how old? 85. 85. I was talking to your trainer, Tom Simmons, the other day. He gave me a report that you have told him you would like some more yearlings this fall. Is that true? That's true. Tomorrow? As long as Tom will take them. 
As long as, Tom, will you take them? Well, you know it. And Bonita. And Bonita. You've got a good team behind you. Barney, you've got a horse in the Governor's Cup tomorrow. Honest Lawyer. You know the betters dismissed him at 30-1 to 1 the other day, and he came home second right. in the elimination. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? You betcha. <laughs> Folks, would you like to see Barney Lowe in the winner's circle for the Governor's Cup? 85 years young. Barney, good to have you with us. Thank Barney Lowe. Congratulations, Tom.